Hello, welcome to another Interval of Magic. I'm San Diego magician Tom Interval. Today I would like to show you how to do a palm. That's P-A-L-M. How to hide an object in your hand without being obvious about it. This will come in handy for many things. Some of the tricks I will teach you utilize a palm. The particular one I'm teaching you today is called the finger palm. So hang in there and practice as much as you can. The more you practice, the easier every trick you do using the finger palm will be. Hi there, this is San Diego magician Tom Interval. Welcome to another Interval of Magic. Today's lesson, you're going to have a ball. Forgive me, I couldn't resist. This is not the trick, though. The trick is a utility move that will allow you to do all sorts of different tricks, including part two, this trick where you take a solid object such as a ball, and uh, you basically take it in your hand, snap your fingers, watch, rub it on the table, and it goes through that solid table. Welcome to the explanation. Now, you're not going to learn a single trick. You're actually going to learn a utility move that you can apply to different tricks, including the trick I'll show you afterward. What is the utility move? Well, first of all, a utility move is any move a magician uses that can be applied to different tricks, right? Hey, before we go, I wanted to quickly mention, if you do close-up magic sitting at a table, this is a great way to practice. It's a three-way mirror. I made it myself. Just go to your glass store, buy three 12-inch by 12-inch mirror tiles, and you basically duct tape them together. What you do is you place it on the table, uh, all three mirrors together, but you allow a quarter of an inch between them to allow for that hinge, and you duct tape them on both sides. And you can see it's nothing too pretty, but uh, you duct tape them on both sides, and it's pretty resilient. You'll have a practice mirror for years. I've had this one for years, and it's adjustable so you can get just the right angle when practicing. So I hope you enjoy this method. It's a, it's a very useful, uh, long-lasting, low-budget thing to do. If you have any questions, please email me at tom at intervalmagic.com. Thanks for watching and or listening to this Interval of Magic. If you enjoyed it and want to see more like it, along with a variety of other great magic-related content, please help support my work by becoming a Patreon patron at www.patreon.com slash tominterval. Also, please like and share this, subscribe to my Interval Magic YouTube channel, and follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, at Interval Magic. Until then, may your intervals be happy, peaceful, and magical.